So, I'm very happy to be here with Ray. And Ray, you just finished the session on Exchange Service Pack 1. So tell me, how did it go? Uh, it was brilliant. So at the beginning of my session, I actually did a, a quick poll of the users and I asked how many people have actually have hands-on experience with Exchange 2007. About 80%, 90% of the audience raised their hands, which was amazing. And then I asked how many of you have actually deployed Exchange 2007. I got about 40 to 50 percent of the of the people in the audience uh, raising their hand. It's great to see our customers experiencing 2007 today. Cool. How many people are in the room? A uh, couple hundred. Great, great. So tell me a little bit. When can we put Service Pack One in the hands of customers? Sure. So actually, the beta two of Exchange 2007 Service Pack One is available right now to TechNet Plus and MSDN subscribers. So they can, they can download and get that. We're looking at the uh, release to, to manufacturing to be available by the end of this year. So Ray, for anyone who wasn't in your session, can you tell me about the key investment areas we are doing with ServicePec 1? Sure, so there's three main uh, investment areas. So first, the anywhere access for our end users. And in there, it's really around that rich Outlook experience, being able to have that on Outlook web access, so on these kiosks while we're traveling here, as well as on mobile devices, and even over a regular telephone with Outlook voice access. So this is a, a great point of uh, unifying both unified messaging and office communication server into unified communications, and being able to have your voicemail read out to you via your, your telephone, as well as your email and your calendaring. You know, the, the other area of investment is really around to the business, to built-in protection. And so that's having your continuous replication that you use today in 2007 and being able to expand that from just within your data center to across sites so you can fail over from one site to another. And then lastly, it's for the exchange administrators. And, and this area is really around our investment in supporting Windows Server 2008 with Exchange Service Pack 1. And with that, we get rich uh, networking with IPv6 and so robust uh, routing there, as well as um, uh, virtualization with, with Hyper-V, which you saw during the keynote, which is, which is great. And since we're a native 64-bit application, we've been very much looking forward to that. Okay, great. So what place can people go for more information? Sure, you can go look at Microsoft.com, WAC Exchange, and we'll have white papers and case studies. We'll also have a, a virtual hard drive image so you can quickly evaluate Exchange Service Pack 1. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time for this interview. Thank you. Great. Thanks.